So this company based in Tennessee that produces these airbag inflators, they are refusing a request from the government to recall them. I mean, it's 67 million airbag inflators. Can they just say no? Can they say, you don't have enough evidence, federal government, back off? Well, that is the approach they're taking. You know, if you look at the language in the letter that the National Highway uh, Travel, uh, Traffic Safety Administration, sorry, wrote, it said they have tentatively concluded that there are issues and that they are urging a recall. That's a little different than languages that they've used in other cases that have forced a recall. So they're basically saying there are 67 million uh, faulty airbags. That is a quarter of the roughly 284 cars that are on the road. Um, they're saying that there have been, over the span of eight years, nine incidences, which aren't a lot. What has happened has been rare but very bad. When these airbags go off, they basically project shrapnel into the vehicle occupants. So the administration is basically telling this airbag manufacturer they need to issue that recall, but the airbag manufacturer pushing back on this, saying that it's just too rare and that those are just random issues with the manufacturing process um, that are sort of inevitable. So it kind of feels like the worst of both worlds because now we're driving around terrified um, and yet it's still too soon to know what exactly is going to happen. I, I will note that this agency does have power to really force the hand of manufacturers. They have forced GM to recall a million vehicles uh, because of similar issues. So it does seem like this is going to be sort of a lengthy back and forth between the regulator and the manufacturer. But could you imagine a quarter of all cars being recalled, it's just... That makes no sense. I mean, and people, one sense. People's heads would explode. Yeah, I, I just, I mean, the, the long lines, people get freaked out over smog checks in certain states. I know that's not in every state, but if you're from California, you know, you don't want to see and, a line. And, you know, nine incidences, it's, it's hard. I think it's a difficult point to prove that over the span of almost a decade, there have been nine incidences, and that's worthy of a recall. And that's what I think the company is saying, saying... Federal government, back off, Barbie. All right, thank you, Lydia. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.